Hi there, this is Mojo Dallas, and this tutorial is about SpyViz, which is a extension for Sonic Pi uh, to have a music visualizer to be able to go ahead and do graphics and tie them to your uh, music inside of Sonic Pi. Uh, before I get started showing how to use this and what to do with it, I want to talk a little bit about uh, coordinates and XYZ space, since that's what you use in order to draw your objects uh, in, that you're going to go tie to your music. So, if you look, uh, here is a, a, going back to your high school of geometry, uh, an XYZ axis, with the X being uh, left and right, the Y axis being up and down, and the Z axis being in or out. So when you draw a, sp a point in 3D space, you identify that by its position on each one of those axes. So, for example, A, point A here, uh, there will be an x-axis value, a y-axis value, and a z-axis value, which it shows here 0, meaning that the, the z value is 0. So this might be, for example, this point might be x of 2, y of 2, and z of 0, versus this point here is represented to be farther away, so it might be an x of... Uh, 2, again, a y of 2, but a z of maybe minus 3. So that's the, that's the t space uh, points in, in uh, 3D space uh, represented by x, y, z coordinates. So when you're drawing in, in, in uh, OpenGL or using SpyViz inside of Sonic Pi, what, what you'll be doing is identifying points and then drawing shapes based on where those points are in space. So, for example, you're going to draw a line, you would identify two points, maybe these two points, and what happens is it automatically or connects them with a line. And that would be the line command. Then the other thing is you could draw three points, and it would create a 2D triangle. You cr create four points, it would be a 2D quad. Uh, you identify eight points, it would be maybe a cube of some type. So that's kind of just to want to talk about x, y, and z coordinates. So you'll you'll see them all over the place, uh, and that's how you identify base base the x, y, z points for the shapes you're drawing. So let's go to Sonic Pi, and first of all, uh, want to talk. Well, r real quick, we'll jump in here and look at my the Spy Viz documentation. Um, this is my wiki inside of a uh, Hack Spy. And I've got a couple of I've got a couple of sections. I would just spy the uh, SpyViz music visualizer talking about it, the architecture and how it works, and then a, a very extensive command reference. So you're not going to learn everything at, at all in this command or in this uh, tutorial, but you can learn about all the commands and all the options and all the things you can draw by looking at the wiki uh, and in great detail how to go draw them, what the options are. But basically, the kinds of shapes you can draw in the first release of this is uh, points, lines, line strips, which are just lines connected to each other, line loops, which is lines connected to each other that loop around on themselves, triangles, tri strips, which are connected triangles, quads, polys. In a poly, you can draw any number of points, so you can create any shape, a text, and so on. And 3D shapes, I have cube, I have the teapot, which is you'll, you'll see in all 3D. Uh, graphics packages, just to show you can draw something very, you know, sophisticated, not just little squares and circles. Uh, spheres, cones, toruses, and uh, four uh, more complicated uh, sphere-looking shapes. And all these are, are like I said, are, are documented with, with code snippets uh, throughout in here, and it's a pretty extensive piece of documentation. So that's where you should go if you want to learn more about this. Uh, We'll go ahead and load something, uh, and oh, I'm not going to load. I'm going to go ahead and use my get clips uh, to go grab a, uh, some clips and stick them in here. They're underneath the GL directory, and the first one I'll bring in is, is uh, the setup. And for setup, I've got uh, really the, the main command for setup is going to be sp uh, spawn visualizer. And what spawn visualizer does, uh, one of the things you need to know is that these commands and this software that's, that's doing the graphics is not running inside of Sonic Pi. It's running as a separate process uh, that's uh, 
a, ru a piece of Ruby code that's, uh, that's, uh, that's executed and runs in a separate process. And Sonic Pi communicates with this, this uh, Spy Visualizer server uh, and sends its commands. So basically the only overhead in Sonic, Sonic Pi is the sending of those commands to be, uh, to be handled by a, another uh, process running on your machine. Again, I did that to, to, to minimize the impact on uh, Sonic Pi. The uh, so the spawn visualizer it says is basically the command that says launch the server, launch the spy viz server, uh, and then you you send commands uh, by uh, here. They all start with a GL for graphics language. So every command starts with GL, and then there's a whole set of uh, commands like you saw in the command reference I just showed you. So the first one you'll have is canvas, which is just you know, it it's the what will the 3D shapes show up on? You know, a a drawing surface. And th in this case, I'm making a screen that's 1920 by 1080, so it's going to take the whole screen pretty much. And I'm going to position it slightly offset so it doesn't cover up the complete uh, uh, Sonic Pi uh, window. So it's going to be a little bit offset, x uh, 10 pixels to the right and 10 pixels down, uh, and, and name it, and then, then name the uh, uh, window, and then the, the background color which in this case is going to be black. Uh, so if we just had and run this, it's just going to go ahead and, and launch a canvas, which uh, pretty exciting, huh? Nothing drawing, but there's it. And see how it's offset a little bit? And I do that for, for, for reasons, so I can easily just click back on Sonic Pi, uh, and you'll see how I use that uh, in, in my demo here a little, a little bit farther on. So that, that kind of gives me a canvas to work with. Now let's go ahead and use Get Clips and bring in some, some things to draw because I don't want to type in, spend my whole day trying to type the commands in. Um, let's draw a quad. No, let's do a triangle. Let's do a quick triangle. Uh, so let's do a triangle. And I'll just paste this in. And it, and it brings in just the basics to draw the, the, the thing. Now, if, so if I could just leave it, I could just leave this here if I wanted. But and it would just draw the triangle one time. But I'll go ahead and put it on a live loop so it draws it over and over. Um, and there. And what this does is is a basic command here. Uh, so again, GL identifies that something that's going to go send to that server. SID is a shape ID. And this is just a unique name. I call it try one here, but it could be called George. Uh, it's a, a clear command. Do we want to clear it every time it draws? And the answer is usually no. I mean, it might be you might want to at some point, but uh, it's usually no. And then again, ex that is explained in more detail in my wiki. The shape, and again, you saw the shape types. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, is a try or a triangle. Color type, number of different color types. Again, documented in there. Solid means it's going to be when you draw the triangle. I want you to have one solid color. You can have a blended color, so it's multicolored. You can have textures, so a picture shows up instead of color. Uh, you can have other color types that are reacting to lights, for example. So you can make a shiny triangle if you want to that reflects. Uh, the uh, the next thing is the colors, different colors. Uh, this is solid, so SC is a solid color. So S SC red is SCR is solid color red, solid color green, solid color blue, SCD, and the solid color alpha. So all colors are made up of a combination of red, green, and blue. And you can go look on the internet to uh, you know understand uh, the different or how you combine those to get different colors. For example, this shows uh, and, and the values are between one and zero. So uh, a solid color of red of one and a solid color of green of zero and a solid color blue of zero will, of course, display red. But if I wanted to, to display yellow, yellow happens to be red and green combined. So it would be a solid color uh, red of one, a solid color green of one, and a solid color blue of zero, and it would be uh, uh, yellow then. Uh, and so if they're all zero, it's black. If they're all one, it's white. And then any com so you can get any combination, any color by combining these three. And the alpha just uh, talks about how see-through it is. So one means it's not see-through at all. Uh, zero means it's completely transparent. You don't see it at all, even show up. 
And now we talked about the x, y, and z coordinates. Here they are for the triangle. So there's three sets of coordinates on x, y, and z. So point one, that's what the P1 stands for. Point one x coordinate, uh, y coordinate, z coordinate. And uh, for, for the point one, here's a point two x, y, and z coordinates. And here's a point three x, y, and z coordinates. And I'm saying here, this is typical sonic pi, uh, sleep for three quarters of a second. And then uh, the next command is another GL command, again, for try one. So it's identifying this, this specific shape. I could have hundreds of shapes if I wanted. This specific, not, not any triangle. This is a specific instance of a triangle. Try one. Kill it. So that says, hey, uh, don't draw it. So this will draw it, and then not draw it. So what you'll see here, basically, is it draw for three quarters of a second, then basically hide it for a quarter of a second. So it will turn into a... Uh, looking like a flashing triangle, hopefully. So we'll see what we got here. And there's a flashing triangle. To the beat, obviously, of, of here. So if I put a bass drum in here, uh, which I will in a, a video here, you know, it, it will, every time the bass drum hits, it will display it and then kill it. And display it and kill it so it'll look uh, like it's reacting to the music. And it, It's just coordinated because it's inside of the same live loop. You put the bass drum in the same live loop as the uh, graphics. So you can do a lot with that. Obviously, you can draw any shape, and you can uh, also, for the shapes, you can draw and change these shapes. Now, that's, that's important here. Here, I just identified all the all the uh, values in the in what I sent. But these could be, uh, it could say, hey, SCR is a variable, uh, or the points are variables. So basically, you can code and change that shape on the fly as it's, as it's spinning through this live loop and make the shape change shapes to make it change colors make it uh, you have the ability to translate the whole shape move it around the canvas uh, without changing x y and z coordinates just by you know with a translate command which is again documented a scale command a scale the whole shape uh, a rotate command that'll rotate the whole shape and those are again talked about in the wiki uh, so let's go look at some of the things you can do with it uh, rather than you know, try to do one at a time, let's go look at some of the some of the things. Which you'll see in this one, uh, I'll bring in this one, and you'll see here that uh, I'll bring in a, a quad, and here's a quad as I sh showed here. It's going to have a texture, so it's going to have a picture. It's going to have a picture of a Sonic Pi logo, in fact, and um, but it's going to be colored red. And then you'll see here as example scale. I'm going to scale it via a variable that I change. They start at 1, and I add 1 to it every time through the loop. So you'll see that it, it grow to be bigger. And you'll see drums here doing very similar things. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't think that will work. Let, let's do this. Start this at, at at maybe 0.5. So I'll do this at 0.5, and you could you could scale them differently. You can scale the, each axis differently, and then I want to add maybe. Okay, so this will this will complain that it doesn't start with a zero. So I mean that's what you'll see to start to start the thing. Uh, so I'll add a scale value here of. Zero. So you'll see it get bigger every time through. And then you'll see a drum come up here, and the drum will, will, will flash, just like you, uh, a bass drum, uh, just like uh, I showed earlier. And you'll see a number of other things. You'll see a, a sh some shapes, some moving around and rotating and changing colors. As you can see here is a rotate one. And, and you can see here's a color. It's choosing uh, down, down here. It's choosing... You know, between zero and one for blue, uh, yellow, and, and or blue, green, and red, and so therefore it'll change colors so randomly, uh, and so on. Then I down here I do the same thing where I change colors, and I also change the values, um, so so um, it will change the way it looks, uh, the the shape size or the shape uh, look, and here it is with some music too. Oh. <laughs>
and say, hey, let's start this at 1. Maybe this is better than I thought. And uh, let's run that. I see it gets a little bit bigger every time. You could, you could obviously you could keep making these changes to whatever you wanted to change them uh, to get what you want. But here, here again, here's here, I'm going to scale that up so it'll, it'll be a little, there's a Sonic Pi logo. So you can do a lot of things. You can you're you're only uh, constrained, just just like much like Sonic Pi, with you know how much work you want to put into uh, p passing the parameters here. And here's an example of I, I brought in a song using my MIDI it and uh, I tied it to uh, I built a drum set out of 3D or out of 2D shapes. I built a piano by just drawing a quad and, and using a texture of a piano and then I wrote some programming in here that says hey uh, put a a point or a, a point that looks like a little rectangle uh, on the correct key for the key that's being paid, played out of the uh, note array so it'll look something like this Two will have a lot more standard things you see in music visualizers, uh, whether it's with Winamp and stuff. I'll be doing a lot more of that kind of GL shader based stuff, but I wanted to be able to draw the primitives uh, to start with. Uh, so that's uh, my first release of uh, OpenGL controlled from Sonic Pi through the Spy Viz, which is just really Ruby code. So uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>